Good afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon. So I am late. Give me one moment. My lunch was moved today to t till 12. She moved it to 12. So I am with you all for an hour. I have both computers. Hey, girl. This is going to be like my first time going live in here for a long time. So this video will remain in the group. And it's also going to be added to YouTube. So the people that are not in the group will also, I'm sorry, the family that is not in this group will be able to see this on Facebook because I know a lot of people don't have um, Facebook. So I'm going to also go to the group because um, I know a lot of people just posted some questions. So let's see leave okay so let's see so good afternoon everyone i hope everyone is doing good um i'm gonna treat this as if it's a youtube video but it's not so the camera and everything is gonna throw me off because i'm never elongated like this um i have not worked in three days today is the third day so i plan on working tonight so i can't well i can but today's um live video is specifically requested by joey um so we are going to get into it today's live is going to center around how would you make being a live ops independent contractor which i want to get his correct um, I want to get the correct verbiage that he said in here. Someone just asked really quick, can I work for Live Ops in another work from home company? Charlene, yes, you can. Charlene, if you're in this group, you can work for as many work from home companies as you want. It's a lot of people that do it. I see that Kaylee, shout out to Kaylee. She was able to answer the question for her. Yes, you can, as long as you are adhering to what Live Ops wants you to do. Y'all are freaking amazing for answering these questions when I cannot. Um, Sunshine Johnson wants to know how long you're required to stay with the client before you change to another one. As long as you are out of certification and as long as you are out of nesting, you can apply for as many as you want. But again, you need to make sure you are adhering to the require commits and hours and things like that for the month and kaylee again girl you are freaking amazing for chiming in when i cannot i see you've been doing your research girl you've been doing your research so i freaking love you for that girl you killing it girl okay she received an email about Live Ops 101, and when she clicks it, she has a username and password. My question is, am I supposed to wait for another email? Okay, Christopher said, text Kelly with Live Ops. Um, it's probably going to be the same login information. Shout out to Christopher for helping. Okay, so where is the post I made? It's supposed to be at the top, but it did not go to the top. Okay, so... I'm trying to find that post. It did not pin to the top like I wanted it to. Did I make it an announcement? Let me search for his name. Okay. So this is what he wants me to do a specific, specific video on. So as far as scheduling goes, how exact and efficient is it? For example, are there multiple slots if like say 10 or 15 people want 9.30 a.m. so that all 15 people can have the slot or do you basically have to rush to be first to get in? This can be for one client or multiple clients. My current plan is to try to work 8.30 
to 4 30 p.m with a lunch at 12 monday through wednesday with thursday and friday off and 8 a.m to 5 on saturdays or sunday again with a 12 p.m lunch currently this is what i work around my life just curious if it is a benefit to figure out ahead of time how to build my schedule or if it's going to be nearly impossible to build my needs so this is what today's video is about he also asked me earlier to kind of touch on it again so i'll read part two um if you do he says okay questions about scheduling and if one can truly structure it to fit lifestyle life or most part to me that's the most important about being able to make your own schedule it is able to basically make your own nine to five if you want thanks and have a good day so a lot of people hey girl hey what a lot of people do and i mean a lot of people you treat this as a real full-time job if you want to do eight hours a day five days a week or you want to do 10 hours a day four days a week hey girl how are you girl thank you i need to flat out my hair it's flat as a pancake and um i'm not putting no heat on it because i haven't been nowhere so i got on the scarf it doesn't look bad but my forehead's kind of big so <laughs> if you want to do eight hours a day five days a week ten hours a day four days a week it is totally up to you how you want to break down and work your schedule um it's people that work seven days a week honestly it's up to you so you kind of structure that around to how you want to do it you are your own boss you make your own hours it's best to kind of if you don't have a planner like get a planner you sit down and make your schedule for the month a lot of these opportunities i can't say direct response doesn't let you get a month schedule but all the other opportunities that you shift board which i will show you all in shift board it gives you the schedule for an entire three weeks so you can honestly sit down and determine what days you want to work like me for example i do all of my hours on saturdays and sundays throughout the week i throw an hour here an hour there but on the weekends um that's when i work my most hours now i don't go on here and schedule off a thousand i wouldn't go on here and do five hours of commits because in this case assurance always has commits it will never be a time that i won't go on here and it's a commit on there um i can't really say for sure to answer his question um each line group is different what i've heard is that consumer cellular and intuit have times available um i've heard and I researched this in Live Ops Nation and the um when you search for like commits and things like that, some people say when they log on, it's not a lot of commits. So I can only speak for assurance and what I see people do. So um it's all depending upon how you want to schedule out your time to work. But I to answer his question, I don't feel like you'll be fighting for commits, especially when you use Shiftboard, because Shiftboard is not gonna, it's gonna solely be your schedule. So, and I'm gonna show y'all. So say for example, I wanted eight, nine, and 10. If I go on there and look at the schedule and somebody already has it, eight, nine, and 10 won't be on there. So it's only gonna show the times that you can work. So that's what I like about Shiftboard it's going to show you what's on there and you would kind of base your schedule off of that if i ain't have my computer on all day you would kind of base your schedule off of that so um sometimes your schedule might have to be altered if you wanted to do eight to five and straight up eight to five might not be on there it might be eight nine ten might be on there and then it's a gap if that's the case you can go to trade board which i will show you all and trade board is going to be where you can kind of pick up shifts where other agents left off and said they couldn't do it. 
you would actually go in there and try to piece together if it was like some hours that you didn't want. Um, what the hell, y'all? Hold on, this is getting on my damn nerves. Um, that's kind of how it works. Um, pretty much, I have not, other than like um, Bath and Body Works and Victoria's Secret and possibly Nike may or may not um, have the hours that you want. I would say that it's not, it may not, may not necessarily be all the hours that you want, but you might just have to get in where you fit in. So I'm basically about to show you all what I'm talking about. We're going to turn this around. Okay. I'm trying to do this. This is so different for me because I never, I never, I never record this way. So it's really throwing me off. Um, I never use my phone this way. So, and I can zoom it in in a moment. So, when you're in shift wards, you'll go to, let me zoom in. So in shift four, everyone's shift four looks the same. You'll go to my lines. Um, the only thing I'm taking in shift board is assurance. So you will pick, it'll probably say assurance nesting or into it nesting. Right here will say nesting or into it or consumer sailor nesting or whatever. You will pick the line group that you want. Um here you'll go in there and you can set up how you want to do it, but you will solely always go to schedules. And as you all can see, um, I need to take this out. This is not working for me. Trying. Hold on, y'all. I'm so sorry. I'm not used to holding the camera like this, but whatever. Um, so as you all can see, for example, what is today? Friday. So, they always have slots on here. 8 o'clock, 8.30, 9. So, basically, all day is available on here. 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, we stop calls at 9 o'clock. So, Assurance always has commits. Um... Even earlier in the week, it was never a time that I want wanted that was not on here. So if the time wasn't available, you wouldn't see it on here. Um, but basically, from what I'm looking at, 8, 9, 10, 11, all the whole damn schedule was available for assurance. Um, but say, for example, if I wanted 5 o'clock today and it wasn't on here, I will go to trade board and tomorrow, this today. So if I wanted 130 and it wasn't on here, I can go in here and take this person's 130. They trying to give it away because they got to go to the doctor or they picked the wrong time. But for the most part, assurance always have commits. So honestly, if I wanted to base my entire Saturday on this tomorrow, if I wanted to get out here and do eight, to 12 um 8 to 12 is definitely on there um but if i get up in the morning and 8 to 10 is on there it would be gone so i will say this to say this this, this is how your schedule gonna look if you want a time and it's not on there it's not gonna show up on your schedule but like i say assurance always has freaking commits it's never a day when it's not gonna be anything on here it's always something on there i cannot speak for another line group but i will however go to um live ops nation and i will show you all how you can search to see what other people are saying um you will go to live ops nation you will go to discussions and then you would click on um the magnifying glass right here and let's just do Nike schedules. N I K E S C C A. 
Let's see what people saying about Nike scheduling. You can always filter this out. When I tell y'all Live Ops Nation has everything. This is so weird holding this camera like this. I'm not about this life. Like, I'm used to it being the other way. Um, While we waiting on this, my computer's being very disrespectful. Um, So I'm going to put y'all back on this tripod. Um, I'm in St. Louis. Um, I have charter, spectrum, whatever you want to call it. And during the day... My internet um, does not want to cooperate. Okay. So, let me go in here and see what somebody is saying. Shut up. What are you talking about? Rotate my damn phone. I'm so sorry. Y'all, this is so freaking ghetto. Um, <laughs> shit. Okay. Um, so, what people are saying about Nike. Um... Let's go to most recent. And I want to see if anybody said anything. Okay. Let's see. No one is basically saying if it's commits or not. Nike commits. People, if I'm not going in here and seeing any complaints, then it must not. Okay. Um, nobody is saying anything 11 days ago. Um, somebody said something 11 days ago. They said, I'm new to Live Ops. I start Nike on the 3rd of February. I want to know how is the call volume? Is it most busy? Level of complexity? Um, this person said she started a study group. Oh, come on, get to about the scheduling. What are the hours? Hours are 6 a.m. to 2 a.m. Eastern. Nobody has went in here and said anything about it not being commits. So, I feel like that's a good sign. Nobody has came in here and said they are fighting for commits. That's a plus. So, you should not have no problem getting commits. Um, I went to the most recent topics and no one has said anything about it not being commits. So, we are going to go to exact sciences. shift forward I mean this is a good thing you all I did not find anybody complaining about it not being any type of commits on anything let's see latest topic <sighs> Okay, three days ago, somebody asked about nesting commits for um, shift board. Yeah, nobody has went in here and said anything about it not being commits. So, that's a good sign. Um, 19 hours ago, someone talked about consumer cellular call volume. Uh, we are paid by the minute we are on the call. Consumer cellular agents busy throughout their shifts. I hope to be working daytime hours. So somebody responded to her. From what I've learned through reading these forms, there are many agents working for consumer cellular at the moment. It's not a lot of consumer cellular agents. So if you are certified to do consumer cellular, you're going to definitely be busy. Um, no one has came in here and said they cannot find commits. So... I haven't seen anybody complaining about it not being commits. The only thing I have seen people complaining about it wasn't commits was probably Bath and Body Works, Victoria's Secret. Um, those were hiring back in like around Christmas time. But for the most part, y'all good. Like, I don't think it's anything that I'm going to have to 
report back that it's going to be hard for y'all to get commits. I don't know what program he doing. Let's see. So yeah, for the most part, y'all not going to have no problem getting no commits. Let's see, we got into it. Did I check that? I don't see nobody having a problem getting into it. Definitely not going to have no problem getting commits. So upcoming certification is into it. Consumer sailor, exact sciences. Now one thing, oh, you want to be in the live? Okay. Approve. Send invite. Am I looking at this right, Linda? Did you did you ask to be on camera? If not, don't approve it because I'm not really sure. If anybody want to jump on camera, ask me a question. You can. I don't know if you asked to be on camera. If you didn't, just decline it. I got a thing that popped up, so I don't know. Um, I'm still trying to do this. Maybe you didn't, girl. Let's cancel it out. Okay, so from what I'm seeing into it. You're not going to have no problems getting commits for nothing. The only thing that you may have a problem getting some commits on, and this is just me being very transparent with you all, I'm going to go to Direct Response Call Center. Um, if you are getting certified for Direct Response Call Center, whenever it's done, whenever you get out of nesting, head on over to the Opportunity Browser and pick you up something else. I'm being as real as I can because that does not always, I'm going to show y'all what it look like right now. Um, while I'm pulling that up, as far as with current openings, the only thing they have on there is Intuit TurboTax. Um, I'm going to show y'all what costs are looking like right now. Do you know how often client post jobs, girl, they can pop up on there at any time. It's not a I can't say they come up on Friday at two o'clock. I've been I've been on here. I get on here and look every day. I see something at what is it, twelve thirty and by one o'clock it's gone. Like stuff just pop on there. And I wish I could tell y'all an exact time. Huh. I wish I can tell y'all an exact time, but I can't. So and I feel like y'all greasy, hold on. So this is call center. Um, this and me being very transparent with you all, this is the one that you probably won't see that many commits on. So this is right now. If I wanted to get on here right now, because you can see it's kind of scarce right now. You got, I can get on. This is 1240. Then we got 210, 240. Then we ain't got nothing else to 8 o'clock. This is the only thing that I will feel like you will have problem with getting commits. Now, as you can see, Saturdays is the way to go. Like, Saturdays is a busy day. This is at night. Um, Of course, you all only see general and high response. You won't have these. I have these because I'm certified on a lot of stuff. But as you can see, the weekends, you have no problem committing to. Uh, with call center, you get access to the schedule for seven days. Um, the schedule actually came out today. Well, it comes out at 2 o'clock this afternoon, and it comes out at 8 tonight. Um, so, and honestly, with call center, I go on there and do it the day of because I'm being really bad as far as we're going on here and picking something, and I forget it's on there, and it shows um, missed. But to be perfectly honest with you, call center, um, direct response is probably the only one that you might not see a lot of commits. Because as you can see right now, just because it's, mine's look like this, the next person's might not. But if I call my mama right now, she'll probably see the same stuff because she take calls too. But yeah, um, for the most part, you know what I'm saying, Saturdays, you good. A lot of people get on, get off, get on, get off. If you don't want to do nonstop calling, like Saturday morning, I'm going to get on here in the morning because um, this is 1040 for me, 940, 740. So, I mean, that's kind of how it's looking. Um, but other than that, 
the majority of the call line um, clients use Shiftboard. And what I can tell you is going all the way back, this always looks like this. So why you want to get on here and act like that? Um, that's basically it. So I know those were most of the questions that a lot of you all had. So I can chime in and go back in the group and see if there's anything else I can answer right now while I'm still on here. If you all have any other questions, let me know. Um, let's see. We're well, we going to go back to the original thing, and I'm going to try to answer some questions that you all may have. Okay. Let's see. No, I did not want to switch to Miss Nicole. I did not want to switch to Miss Nicole. Okay, so let me go back to the group. God, this is so aggravating now. Hold on. What's up with my internet? Dang. Jesus Christ. Okay. So I'm trying to go through here and see if I see any other questions. Um, let's see. Okay. You can work for more than one company and work for live ops. Um, you can, as long as you're out of nesting and out of certification, you can apply for another client live ops 101 they are going to email you your username and password hope said i'm super excited to get started i'm getting all of my equipment to get started so my question is still to figure out the whole wired internet versus wireless internet so i have wireless internet in my home wi-fi do I need to get a whole new landline phone? We don't have one. You do not need a landline phone. Hold on, Robin. You do not need a landline phone. You are going to get your calls through your inner, your computer. You do need to be connected to the router. I applied today for Live Ops. Pay my background check. How long does it take? Some people told me they got their background check done in 10 minutes. Some people told 30 some people told me an hour. It can take one to three business days. I would say one to three days. Um, I'm going to put the, it's, it, it's a way you can check your background check status, but it should not take that long. But not to scare you, some people told me it took them a month. It all kind of depends on who they are verifying your stuff through, but it should not take that long at all. My friend got hers back in 30 minutes. Some people got it back in an hour. Um, and I'm so glad y'all be chiming in and answering these questions when I cannot. Yeah, so she answered that. Christopher wanted to know what the scripts. Okay, Christopher asked of the, the scripts that I just showed y'all in call center. Um, which is the color guide on here. Yellow means it's closed. You cannot get commits. You're welcome. Yellow, Christopher, I don't know when you're going to see this. Yellow means it's closed for commits. Oh, green means it's open for a commit. Light green means it was already committed for that time. Christopher, it's a, it's a color key on there if you go to the top and click show. Um show legend it'll break down all of that for you they also go over it in training um other questions you all had shay says she got um accepted to work for live on she has not worked from home or any of the call centers and will be starting school as a single parent of two any tips or suggestions to be a successful agent and as i as i can see y'all came through and represented in the comments um I responded to her as well. Um, let's see. That was two hours ago. Uh, 
Christopher be asking about these schedules and stuff, practice scripts. Christopher, I went over there in my live yesterday. I posted the link in the group. Um, trying to see if there's any other questions. Was accepted in Consumer Sailor. Excited and can't wait. You have a question. You saw Live Ops website. They require a phone. You can plug into your headset into a dedicated phone line. Yet when I did the Zoom meeting yesterday, they said a computer and a USB headset. So it's going to be USB headset. They are not requiring new agents to have a landline phone. I have a landline phone. I've been doing that since, live out since 2011. So you do not need a landline phone. Um, oh, yeah. And they also posted it on their Instagram page. So shout out to the person that posted the screenshot out of Instagram. See, this group is bombfreaking.com because I cannot always get on here and respond to y'all. So I appreciate y'all just kind of helping me out. Um, she is a newbie with from South Africa. She wants to join Live Ops. Unfortunately, you do have to be in the United States. Um, I am new, but I don't know where you see Slack. That came from Joanne, Annie Joe. Annie Joe, did you ever get your invite for Slack? I hope you did. She starts on the 22nd, so she won't have it as of yet. So if you have certification that starts Monday or you got certification that starts on the 22nd, all these systems like Slack and um, Shiftboard, you won't get those credentials and login stuff until like when you almost done. Um, she's Rosie said, looking to start signing into live ops. They don't, from what I'm understanding, I don't think they ask for a resume. Of course, Christopher chimed in. Um, so if you, if you were a part of live ops before and you got, um, your contract and stuff got, your account got deactivated, apply again and use a new email address. That's what I did. And I just use another email address. Okay. Gia said she's currently doing TurboTax certification. If anyone would like some insights, please drop your comments below. I have been adding a few in the water cooler, but also leave some helpful information here. So Gia, shout out to Gia. So if anybody is doing into a TurboTax, if y'all go to the top of the group and search by that magnifying glass, a lot of people have posted either tips and tricks. I don't delete stuff out of the group. The only thing I delete is if it's a job posting that they snatched off of there, I will delete that post. But for the most part, I don't delete anything out of here because it's useful information. I take that back. I'm No, I don't delete nothing. Um, we have Janae that's starting all state certification. She will keep us posted. So um, the certification time for all state is 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Eastern or 2.30 to 5 p.m. Eastern, three days a week. So she is going to, oh, Keandra, did you ever get to apply using that link that I put on there? Because that little pop-up message that you got, I get it on my one computer, and it won't let me go past, but on my other computer, I was able to get past. So was you ever able to apply with that link I put in there yesterday? I hope you say yes. Um, Brianna says she's currently doing Live Ops 101. She sees that everyone is talking about wanting to work for assurance. Why is it such a hot, easy lead? Assurance is the way to go. As I showed y'all, it's always commits. In yesterday's video that I went live, I posted, I showed you all an actual sample script of like an actual call for direct response and then i also showed you all what the um the script actually looks like um the script actually looks like for assurance like i found it in live ops nation live ops nation is the business if you don't feel like doing all that you can go to my video and kind of it's a lengthy ass video but you can either go to Live Ops Nation and search for assurance scripts. It's got actual screenshots of everything. The reason everybody wants that one 
is because it's always commits. The calls come in every two to three minutes. You download like their secure server and you sign in. They got an actual website that you log into. All the calls come through your computer. It'll automatically come in my headset. I don't have to say anything or press a button to answer a call. That is one of the lower paid groups, but it pays 20 cents a minute. But for every call that you transfer to a licensed agent for them to get information on the quote, you get a dollar and fifty cent for every transfer. Um, just to give you all an example, when I get on there on my lunch breaks, I normally try to log in on my lunch breaks. I didn't really do it today. I'm gonna try my hardest to do it tonight. Because um I'm trying my hardest to do it tonight. I'm probably gonna do it tonight, probably until it get dark outside, but that's the lower paid group, but you can make a lot of money as far as with transfers. So I'm going to show you all what I invoice in 30, like doing an hour on there when I work on my lunch break. So let me pull this up. I did, let's see the first. Let's see the first. Oh, we got February 1st, February the 11th. Okay, so when it was the fifth i logged on friday i can show you all what i did i logged on february 5th i was on there for two hours um i did two hours which was a total of I didn't get, I didn't talk the whole two hours, but ended up being 85 minutes at 20 cent a minute. I made um, $17 just from talking. And then I did nine transfers at $1.50 and I made $13.50. So for talking for two hours, I made $30.50, $30.54. As you can see, I don't get on there a lot. I get on there when I feel like getting on there, and this is why. I mean, this is not bad so far for the month. That's not bad. Um, this $0.45 cent was one day. You actually get – these are transcriptions, which they don't offer anymore. I signed up, did the background check and everything, but I don't have a state ID as of yet, so I need that to proceed for persons who just have a green card. Okay, okay, well, that's good to know. It'll be okay. Um, it'll all, you know, you'll all get it worked out. But yeah, this is something else. Uh, when was the eighth? I worked on Tuesday. Um, so this was basically the insurance. I was on there for forty, so I logged on for an hour, but I only talked for was that an hour? Where's my little book at? I normally try to keep track of this. Give me one minute. See, I write it in this book, too, when I don't feel like pulling it up. So the eighth I logged on for, I did two hours. No, I actually did an hour. I write it in this book, even though I can go to shift board, but I don't feel like doing it. So I, I signed up for an hour, so 60 minutes, but I actually only talked for 43 minutes. That's all I did. Out of the 60 minutes, I talked for 43 minutes because a lot of this was either voicemails or somebody hung up on me. Even if I say hello, I'm still getting paid. So for that hour that I was on there, I made eight dollars from talking, and then I did three transfers at a dollar fifty. So when I logged on for an hour, I made thirteen dollars and seventy cents just for talking one hour. The link did work, thank you. And I have question regarding scheduling. So if I want to do seven to three, what? Why the hell is this doing this? Hold on. Um, so as y'all can see, assurance is a good one. Um, the second I got on there, it did four and a half hours. I did. I'm gonna get to you in the question. I gotta go to my on the actual website and look. On the second, I did four and a half hours. I made. Uh, actually, yeah. On the second, I worked four and a half hours. Um, so out of four and a half hours, 
I talked for 211 minutes and I made $42 and talked $42 for talking. And then I made 15 transfers and that was $22. So for being on there for four and a half hours, which was actually equivalent to three and a half hours because I did not talk the entire four and a half hours for three and a half hours. I made $64. So it's some damn good money. If I would have stayed on there longer, if I would have did eight, I would have made 120. It's easy to get people to get transferred over. I can kind of tell you all the stuff that I'll be saying. They gave us some of rebuttal scripts and stuff like that. Um, getting to your question about, because it cut it off. Um, Keandre, what did you say? Why is this not updating and why is it cut off? Okay. Would I be able to work seven to three to get the schedule or will I have to complete the hours with others and the hours at first come? It all depends on what program you're doing. From what I'm seeing, you're not going to have to fight for hours. Now, you might want to do seven to three. Seven to three might not be on there. It might be seven, eight, nine, a gap, and the 10 o'clock hour might be gone. You might pick it up 11, 12, so on. For, for what I've researched, you're not going to have no problem getting no commits. Um, so let me go back to this. Um, Crystal told us about the Advocate app, the Hub. Um, so you don't have to log into Live Ops Nation on your computer. You can log into it on your phone. This just lets you know how I don't pay attention. I didn't even know that they had a damn app. I, I didn't know. Um, I feel like I got all the questions up. I'm on Tuesday now. Um... Let's see. You don't. I only use a laptop. Don't go out there and buy a desktop. I will say, if you have not applied to anything yet, go on liveops.com. Go to requirements and make sure your computer has everything. Because I was talking to one of the family members. She had emailed me, and she kept getting this error message that her processor did not pass. Your processor needs to be a core three or higher. Um, and then you're, you have to be hooked up to the router when you do your speed test. When you do those tests, when you apply for stuff, make sure your stuff hooked up to the router because they want to test your download speed. They want to test your upload speed. Those things will make you not pass. Um, I, my computer don't really pass for nothing no more. It used to pass for a lot of stuff, but it's not passing for nothing now. So whatever I'm on, that's what I'm going to be on because I'm not buying no another damn computer. Um, Let's see. Another thing that I've been seeing you all post, though, I guess back on the night they had put Nike on there, and a lot of people had commented and said they applied for it, and then they got denied. So, yeah, livebox.com. I'll put it in the group. I'm going to put it. Let me see. I'm going to put it in the comments, and then show the computer requires. Hold on. Yeah, um, it'll be a lot of times where you'll apply for something and they'll tell you you got it. I've seen it happen one or two times and they will come back and tell you that you don't have it no more. They be putting a lot of people, they accept a lot of people and I guess by the time they start reading it out, now I'm not saying it happens a lot, but I've been told that it did happen before. Uh, so, I mean, that could possibly be a opportunity that could just let you know that that could happen. I'm ready to put the computer um, stuff in the, hopefully it lets me put this in the comments. Uh, I'm going to put it, let me see if I can go back to that Facebook. Man, I am starving, call myself. I ate some food this morning, it didn't do nothing. Okay, so let me see if I can put this in here. Okay. It don't look right, but I was able to internet wire. I don't know what it's going to look like. It's probably going to look weird, but I'm going to, um, I will also post the link to where I got that from in the chat. 
man. I am freaking starving. Okay. That link I just posted is going to show. But yeah, other than that, um, I'm trying to see if... Uh, I'm trying to make sure that I answer. Do you all have any other questions? I'm kind of trying to comb through the notes. Oh, yeah, what I was going to say about computers. I put the requirements in there. I have a laptop. I've never had it. Well, I take that back. I had an all-in-one computer at one time. It was a long time ago. But don't go out there and buy no desktop. You can use a laptop as long as it has those requirements. Because my computer passed two years ago because I applied for Intuit in 2019. I passed. I go on there and apply for Intuit today. My computer failed. So they changed the requirements. So as long as your computer is core three or higher, you should be fine. But um, as far as with second monitors, um, a lot of people go through Facebook Marketplace. You don't have to get no expensive ass monitor. I was impatient and I did not wait. I ain't feel like looking, so I ordered this hundred dollar monitor and I didn't need to do that. Um, they encourage you in the training. Hey girl, they encourage you in the training to go to Goodwill. You can use a flat, a little TV as a second monitor um, for those that require it. Some of them don't, but it's always good to sometimes have a second monitor um in, unless you split your screen which that's option two um they encourage you to go to goodwill if you go to goodwill and you get an older monitor that does not have an hdmi cord you can always get the converter of course youtube is everything you can go to youtube to figure out how to do that but yeah other than that i think that's all the questions that you all had i hope i addressed everything about the scheduling i really try my best to but as far as we're making this be a full-time job, you can do 10, 10 hours a day, four days a week. You can do eight hours a day, five days a week. It all depends on how you want to do it. The only thing with shift board is once you put it on there and for some reason you can't do it and you miss it, that's going to go against your missed commit performance. They're not going to fire you for that. I'm not sure how it would affect you, but, um, for the most part, you can definitely plan out your work week. I didn't pay that off, but okay. You can definitely plan off your work week by going on there and just kind of prioritizing. Like, I got this cheap-ass little planner. I want something better than this. And believe it or not, I got this from somebody in the little Christmas baggie. But it works for what it works for, um... But yeah, other than that, um, you can make, it can be whatever you want it to be. You just got to really sit down and determine how many hours you want to work to make sure the tech requirements again. What's the website? Um, I posted it. Um, I'm going to put it up at the top. Well, why did I mess with that? Um, let me see. I'm gonna post it in the group. I'm not in the group. Yeah, I'm gonna post it in the group. Um, let me see. So, um, let's see. Internet download speed five megabits. Upload speed three megabits or faster. Processor. 3 gigahertz Intel Pentium 4 processor or better. I dropped turbo tax before I completed my nesting. Will that stop me from applying? When did you drop out? It could take up to four days to get you permanently removed out of there. Did you just do it? Yeah, I'm freaking starving. When did you request removal? It could take up to four days. Um, if you try to apply for something, so if you just ask to be removed today, they're going to say you're still in there. So it could take up to four days to get you taken out. Um, okay. Then you can apply for something right now. It's nothing on there. 
So I would just say be on the lookout and just keep looking. Right now, it's nothing on there but TurboTax. So just stop that thing like a hawk. I'm going to again in the at the top of the group. Um, let me see. Why am I? Yeah. So yeah, you good now. Um, I don't like doing this on my phone. Okay. Make sure your computer is meets the requirements. Okay, I'm gonna put it in a um as a post. Why did you do that? Okay. Make sure your computer has the requirements. Okay, so I put, I'm ready to post the link. Okay, I just posted. But other than that, I mean, it's really good as long as you prioritize your time. Get on there, figure out a schedule that works best for you. Um, you'll know when you first get in there. Um, if you see all them times, you can honestly, you can honestly do that stuff on a day by day basis. But if you want to treat this as a job, you gonna get on there. You're going to get your planner out. You're going to schedule your breaks and your lunches, and you're going to treat it as such. It's just be kind of hard to put yourself in, I'm my own boss. If I don't feel like getting in here, like, you got to be like, get up and go in there and work. It's so hard, especially with me working from home. I fall out of bed and, and come in here, and it'd be five minutes till I got to work it. Got to get on to work. But you got to treat it just like a regular job. Get up in the morning, get your computer systems pulled up, make sure you got your coffee, your water, you're going to come in your designated office space, you're going to put your headset on, and you're going to treat it as such. Um, you make your break whenever you want to take your break. If you want to do four hours on, you want to do a split shift, you want to do four hours in the morning, especially if you work in an opportunity that could take calls late, get on there four hours take a two or three hour break get back on there it's all in what you want to make it so i hope this answers a lot of questions you all may have um so far for february i have been doing what the hell i gotta do um considering these last couple of days i didn't work but i set a goal for myself to make a thousand dollars this month the month is not over i still got time to kill it and i'm gonna check in with you all at the end of this month and let you know how close i made it to my thousand dollar goal which i plan to surpass that so my lunch is over. I'm freaking starving. So I hope this answers any question that you all have. This will remain in this group. I'm also going to post this video on YouTube because it's a lot of people that don't have um, Facebook. So if you all have any other questions or want me to do anything, another separate live, let me know. And as always, I appreciate everyone that's joined the group. The group is growing. It's doing, it's giving exactly what it was supposed to give. I started this group from encouragement from you all on my YouTube channel to tell me to start this group. I'm glad I did. It's definitely paying off. I get very excited and very passionate about helping you all. Um, it's so many different work from home jobs out there and I don't feel like it's enough. It's not enough out there as far as you Googling and doing like your research like that. It's not enough out there for people to say, yes, I want to do it. No, I want to do it. So that's why I post my videos to give you all firsthand um review of the company i will tell you the good and the bad i'm gonna tell you if you're gonna get hours if you're not um but that's why i post my videos just to give a better review of everything and i hope y'all enjoy it so we're gonna continue to make this money this year this money honey i do got merch i got um t-shirts that say some people got to have it 
this is the day the Lord has made. It's time to make money so I can get paid. You're welcome. I made another T-shirt today that says, stop giving exclusive benefit. What did I say? I made another T-shirt today. Stop giving away the exclusive benefits of you. Um, that is my merchandise is on Teespring. Um, some other stuff not YouTube approved. So, like my some people got to have a T-shirt. And my this is the day the Lord has made. It's time to start working so I can get paid. That link is somewhere in the group. But I just come up with a positive affirmations. But I'm very glad you all are a part of my YouTube family and part of my Facebook group family. And I'm just going to continue to post these videos. Like my channel has turned into a work from home channel. And that's okay. I might occasionally throw a TikTok or a cooking video in there. But it's a lifestyle channel of my life, Miss Nicole. And a part of my life right now is helping you all get information about working from home. That's what I do. That's what my channel is about. And that's it. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I will talk to y'all later. I believe I probably got my alarm about to go off in a minute. So I love y'all. Talk to y'all later. And if ain't nobody told you today, I love you. God loves you. Have a nice day.